tired of the disrespect. John, how can you have a top 10 list of defensive tackles and not have Grady Jarrett on the list? Now, with all due respect to all of these guys, they're very good players. But Grady is being disrespected because the Falcons haven't been to the playoffs in the last five years, and therefore he gets overlooked. And it's a shame because when you look at at it from a salary standpoint, Grady's still one of the top paid guys. Now, these salaries have soared over the last few years for defensive tackles. Aaron Donald is special. Nobody's getting Aaron Donald money. He's getting quarterback money, okay? That's $30 million a, a year. Jeffrey Simmons is the next closest guy at about 23, and Deron Payne, of course, with the commanders at about 22. But when you start talking about when Grady did his deal, it was one of the highest paid deals for a defensive tackle. I think this is solely disrespect about where the team's been and what they've done. It has nothing to do with Grady because Aaron Donald's on the list. Chris Jones is on the list. Jeffrey Simmons is on the list. He's, he's really good with the Titans. Quinnen Williams with the Jets, who's looking for a new deal. Javon Hargrave, Dexter Lawrence, DeForest Buckner. All these guys are really good. Why isn't Grady in the top ten? All right, you worked at ESPN, correct? Yes. What does ESPN stand for? Sports Entertainment. Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. Yes, Sports Entertainment. No, no, no. It stands for the Eastern Seaboard Programming <laughs> Network. Okay. All these teams are not in the East. Doesn't matter. They only know what uh, exists beyond uh, the Beltway and uh, down south. The, the, they seethe with despite for Atlanta. They don't like this city. The New York Mets fans hate the Mets. They hate <sighs> the Braves with such a passion. New York does not like Atlanta. And so, no, I mean, there's part of, part of that's true. I mean, part of it is just true. There, there are a lot of people, you know this, there are a lot of people in Connecticut who think that, that Atlanta is still kind of backwater. Mm. And so, but anyway, be that as it may. Um, yeah, you know, I love the disrespect. I love the fact that Arthur Smith is rate, rated as the 26th best coach or Desmond Ritter, the 40th best quarterback, or you leave Grady off this list. I mean, disrespect us all we want. You know, and um, when we start winning games, you know, and the sad thing for Grady is, can I uh, go back to the, all right, all right, the moment, the football moment that I don't want to say the score of, okay? If they win the game, Grady is the MVP. He of is. That game. He is. And it totally changes his career arc. But wait a minute. Even without that, John, he's still going on. I agree. On to, he's come on. He's he, great. He's great. I wouldn't Respect trade him. Respect that. I wouldn't trade him for six of these, seven of these guys on this list. Listen, the only guy I'm trading him for is Aaron Donald. Chris Jones. Yeah, you know. I mean, am seriously. I, am I trading him for Cam Hayward? No. no. Am I trading him for Dexter Lawrence? No. 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 I mean, Hargrave is great, but I mean, okay, he's and he and and Grady has done this with nothing around him. Right. See, that's the problem I have. This is why this is crap. Dukes and Bell at Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Uh, this is why I want to run the world, okay? This is why I want all of our teams to win as badly as I want them to. I want the Braves to just run away with the division and run away with the National League and then smoke somebody in the World Series. I want the Hawks to be champs. I want to be the city that people go, man, what's going on down there in Atlanta? Well, I, right? I, think, we're, I, right? think, we're, I think we're close. That's, that's what I want to be. And this is the thing. You just said it. He's done it with nobody around him, and yet – we're going to go, oh, these guys are, they're, they're better than uh, Grady Jarrett. He hasn't played with anybody. Right. Even Aaron Donald had Von Miller. Right. Come on. Correct. I mean, it's, it's, this is disrespectful. Uh, of course it's disrespectful. You expected something else from ESPN? <laughs> I don't know where it came from. All I know is when I saw it, I went, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> you know, the other day. And I didn't see his name. You know, the other day uh, when, when, um, the Braves won their 60th game. You had to go down about 20 stories in the Major League Baseball page of ESPN. To 5. see it? Yeah. To see it? It's, yeah. the, it's the biggest story no. of the first half no, of the season. No, no, no. There were, May, and, no and by the way, not, not they're on them. pace to break all these records in franchise history. And you're telling me I had, to, I had to scroll 20 stories down? Well, yeah, about. And then, of course, ESPN puts out a headline today, and they say, Acuna and Otani are the Major League uh, Baseball's best-selling jerseys. No. Really? You had to write a story? What? No kidding. <laughs> wow. Thanks, ESPN, for Oh, there's a news flash. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you really have to write that story? Okay. You're oh, overstate the obvious? Of course they are. 
Uh, they haven't gotten down to where it's. I think they just kind of figured out that Ronald Acuna was actually pretty good. I swear I, to yeah, God, they, they haven't been on there. They no, no, they haven't. I mean, this and the national media hasn't. He doesn't get enough national attention. No, he doesn't. We know this. Oh, he did, when the lineups come out, are, when were the line? Are, are the lineups out? They I are. Mean, is the batting are. order out? Yeah. Yeah, Acuna's leading off. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, if Acuna isn't leading off, oh, thank God, because oh, well, I, I was about to have a well, five-hour show on that. But this is why the, the the whole Philly manager Rob Thompson thing, I said, get him in, get him out. Yeah, hit, hit twice. And get him out of there. Right. Get him out. All right. So you want to give it to me? All right. Yeah, he's going to share that with us. No, no, we are. We're, we're going to talk about it with Grant coming up, and we'll talk about it uh, with the Braves. Uh, as something I want you to do, which is All just right. get focused. Here we go. Acuna leading off. Freddie, ha, huh, batting behind him, playing first. How about that? Mookie Betts I wonder batting if third. he'll talk to him about the, the earrings and, and the, the eye black and, and eye wearing black. his hat wonder. sideways. Yeah, I wonder yeah. if he'll talk to him about that. J.D. Martinez, D.H. cleaning up. Nolan Arenado, third, hitting fifth. Luis Arias, second base, sixth. Sean Murphy, seventh. Corbin Carroll, left field, eighth, and Orlando Arcia batting ninth. Zach that? Gallen gets the nod to start. Yeah, and he should. Uh, by the way, if you if you are wondering, and we'll talk more about this with Grant, but uh, Strider and Elder are not pitching. They will be there. They're there as we speak. They are not pitching. Home run derbies tonight. More on that coming up. Donnie says, come on, man. Dukes. He played with Vic Beasley. <laughs> now, hang on. Hey, hey, I'm going to defend Vic Beasley. Ah, don't you dare. Dude led the NFL in sacks. Oh, goodness. Okay. Led the league. Uh, and I don't know what happened to him. Oh, I, I mean, know what got, happened to got, him. He got religion. He got God. I didn't know what had happened to him. But, I mean, want, he had one year. He, did, he didn't want it. Yeah, I know he didn't. But this whole thing, Donnie, Johnny's making a joke, by the way. And we're talking about Grady not being on the top ten list of defensive tackles. He had Marlon Davidson and Tag McKinley, too. Come on, guys. What, what are we talking about? Yeah, he played no, no, with no, no, Tag McKinley. He had Deidre Sonat. You forget he had Deidre Sonat. I don't even remember Deidre Sonat even playing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember him playing one bit. Uh, yeah, the, the Vic Beasley thing. And listen, I know he's from up the road here. At the end of the day, he didn't want it. You know, and now we've seen what, – what was the podcast you showed me, Turtle, a while back where, where the Titans guys were talking about Vic Beasley? Oh, yeah, it was uh, Bussing with the Boys. And, yeah. and they're talking about Vic Beasley. Yeah, Captain and, and the Lawn. And, and, yeah, and he's trying to like, oh, we should sit out. And the guys are like, dude, you just got here. Right. Like, you hadn't even practiced. And you you were already talking about trying to get out of practice. Anyways, I, Grady, we know what you are. But this year he's got – Onyemata, he's got Calais Campbell, he's got Bud Dupree. Yeah, first time. Yeah, I know. these guys. If Onyemata does his job, which I think he will do, he's going to eat up a couple of guys. Grady's going to have Grady's going to have 8, 9, 10. And people are going to go, oh. We're going to yeah. say, yeah, we, we always knew that. Correct. It's what we've already known. 